Hello, I'm Sister Rose Picotti in Los Angeles, and my film to review this week is The Hunger Games. This film roared into theaters last weekend and gave the U.S. its biggest midnight opening of all time. This film is based on the book by Suzanne Collins, and it's a futuristic science fiction exploration of the effects of war and violence on families and people, but especially on teenagers. This um, story is about Katniss. She's the heroine, and I just love the way that this girl heroine has, has become the center of this story. Um, we don't get many girl heroes in our movies today. Anyway, she is chosen along with PETA to represent their district in this new United States that has emerged after people have risen up and revolted against the government. Now that was 74 years ago in the story. So these 12 districts or states that now exist in relation to this capital um, all have their own specific work and function the way to contribute to the, um, the well-being of the capital. And in order to keep the people in line and to keep them scared and obedient, Every year, a boy and a girl between the ages of 12 and 18 is chosen to go and take part in these Hunger Games, which are really like gladiators who will fight to the death. Now, some people have very tritely called this a movie about young people who kill each other off for sport. This couldn't be further from the truth. This is really a kind of combination, combination of Lord of the Flies, um, George Orwell novels, and... And it's just as um, it's just as bleak, but it's also very hopeful because you have young people who are who have character and who know how to give the, and sacrifice themselves for the good of another. Yes, there's hints of a of a romance, but nothing really happens because you've got the banality of television. There's a little bit of Truman Show going on here because these Hunger Games take part in this big outdoor arena where. Everybody in the whole country can watch. So this voyeurism, this seeming um, exaltation in violence, that isn't really what it's about because it seems that almost no one really wants to do this except the government. So it, no one questions what's going on except these young people. But then we find out that at a certain point when a little 12-year-old girl is killed during the Hunger Games and Katniss is is so sad by this that she creates this um, little funeral, this honor for this little child and when she raises up her hand and gives this salute in her memory well she has no idea of the effect that this has on some of the other districts and Katniss is well on her way to becoming almost a Christ figure for her people. So we'll see what happens in the, as the next two books in this trilogy be, turn into film, but I think that there's a lot of value to The Hunger Games, and if you haven't read the books, I hope you do, because if you listen to the television, they're just talking off the top of their heads. They haven't read the books. Thank you, and God bless you, and I hope you'll join me next time when we look for Seeds of the Gospels in today's movies.